Okay, this is Bob with Branson, and I'm going to demonstrate how to test an ultrasonic stack. This is a 30 kilohertz stack, and an XAEC actuator, the NXE power supply, and the uh, monitor, touchscreen monitor with it. So what I'm going to do is test this forward, make sure it's functional, it's working properly, and for the power supply to store the frequency of this forward. So after I have it installed in the uh, carriage of the actuator, from the uh, power supply main screen, I'm going to go to the diagnostics page. The diagnostics that has some features here. I went digital tune turned on, which means after I do a scan of this horn, it's going to store the frequency of this horn in here. This is part of the horn signature feature. Uh, from the horn signature page, I can do a start scan. And now it's scanning frequencies of this from 29 kilohertz to 31 kilohertz. It's going to find the best frequency in that range to run at, and it's going to store that. So it gives me here the numbers that I've found for the frequencies. There's three frequencies in this horn within this range. I have two series frequencies and one parallel frequency that's going to be between the two series. The parallel frequency is the one I'm going to run at. Run at. Um, I can display the graph of this. and It'll show me a graphical image of the scan. Right here is where we have the maximum impedance. We have the minimum current. And we have a crossover phase right here of zero. Of, uh, zero right here and that's going to be the frequency parallel that is uh, 29.731 kilohertz. And then you have two other frequencies here and here. There's a good separation between these frequencies so this horn looks very good. That's what I want to see. Sometimes I may not see these frequencies. They may be out of range. That's fine too. Just as long as I have a nice crossover like this within this range, that's good. From this uh, point right now, I could do a test of the horn. I press the test button. I'll see a power here. This is 50% amplitude I'm running at, 36 watts, and the frequency that it's running, 29.758 kilohertz. 34 watts is about right for the power for this. That's a good frequency right here. And this horn is good. I'm ready to go.